Ladies, here are three things that you must do before you say I do and marry that man. Please listen to the advice I drop in this video. It could save your life. Number one, you are to require him to get a psychiatric evaluation. He is to be an open book about his mental health with you or else you will not marry him. You do not want to marry a narcissist, a sociopath, a psychopath, a womanizer, an abuser. And these men are excellent actors. They know how to be on their best behavior. They know how to pretend to be Christians, men of God, when they're really demons. So in order to figure this out before you commit to him, make him get screened by a licensed psychologist, psychiatrist. And you find the doctor. Don't let him choose the doctor. You find someone excellent at screening narcissists and psychopaths. Know what you're getting into before you tie yourself down to an abusive man. If he does not agree to go into therapy, you have your answer. Do not marry him. It means he's against therapy. It also means that he's hiding something. And it means more than likely he has abused women in his past and you don't know nothing about it. You dodged a bullet. Number two, get a very tough prenuptial agreement and postnuptial agreement. Protect your money, your finances, your home, your assets, everything. So if he flips out after the marriage and starts changing up on you, switching up and abusing you, he cannot touch none of your fucking money. Put it in a trust account. You understand that you control. Don't open up no joint bank account. Protect your money so that he flips out, you get the fuck out of there and you, you're good to go financially. Do not let him control your finances. And if he cheats and abuses you and you file for divorce, you set up that prenuptial agreement so that you tear his pockets up for life for disrespecting you and violating your marriage. Make him pay financially. Put it in the prenuptial agreement. Number three is you need to see how that man was raised. Okay. Don't just take his word for it. Do your own investigative work. He should be taking you to all the family functions so that you can analyze his family members. Are the men in his family woman beaters, cheaters, liars? Because if they are, they've trained him to be the same exact fucking way. And if he's still dealing with his, his male family members and he's close with them, He's going to allow them to influence his decision making when it comes to you. And it's toxic as fuck. Are the women in his family a bunch of weak bitches that allow men to cheat and dog them out? And they cling to men because they're scared of looking, you know, like they can't keep a man. That means they're desperate and they're doormats and they're weak. And he'll expect you to be just like the women in his family. That's dangerous and it's toxic. Don't marry him without analyzing his family. It's okay to turn down a marriage proposal, ladies. Know what you're getting into.